It's Ellen Ruth back here with Ellen Ruth Soap. Today we're jumping right into salt soap. I'm using this fragrance, Brandied Pear from Marouge, Canada. Oh, this smells beautiful. Uh, so nice. So I'm gonna color these all one solid color using this Baby Grasshopper Green from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is such a pretty color and it kind of looked like pears to me. After these are unmolded, I'm going to do a drizzle on the top for the brandied portion of the brandied pear. So I'll take my melt and pour soap, color with this lemon sherbet and a white champagne micas, and we'll do a little drizzle just to make them beautiful. So let's put some coconut milk powder in here for my salt soaps. This is what I normally do in my salt soap recipes. And I think coconut milk powder is wonderful. It feels just beautiful and luxurious in the lather. So we're adding it in there, why not? Uh, and then the kale and clay, we're gonna do that along with our colloidal oats. Those are my normal soap additives just because I love them so much. They're optional. You don't have to add these if you don't want them. I love them, but it's totally up to you if you like them. So I get them blended in to my oils and butters and the recipe is down below. I've shared this recipe multiple times. I will share it again, it's that good. So let's get these all blended on in here and. Uh, I like to let them sort of absorb into the oils. And I will go ahead and add my mica right in here to the oils since these are gonna be all one color. I'm gonna get that baby grasshopper blended in here and, uh, and then we will get moving on with our aloe vera lye solution and the salt and all, you know, all the good stuff that comes later. But right now, let's blend this mica up and just enjoy how pretty that color is, right? <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, this fragrance does have 0.3% vanillin, so it shouldn't discolor too much, just a little, but look at that beautiful color. So I'm hoping the majority of that color will stay as is because um, isn't that luscious? To me, it looks very pear-like. It evokes that. So let's take a look. Here is the sea salt that I'm using today. Um, I love sea salt in these bars. You can use Himalayan salt. Today we're doing sea salt. And here are the cavity molds I'm doing. These little tiny bunt cakes I thought would be beautiful with those drizzles on top. And I have these heart molds. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I think they're so cute. I love to do cavity molds. Pardon my mismatched gloves. I <laughs> opened a new box, so we get mismatched gloves. That's aloe vera lye solution that has cane sugar and Tussa silk fibers in it. I don't need sodium lactate for salt soap because the salt makes these bars rock hard. So no sodium lactate required. And I'm just gonna bring this up to a, a good emulsion um, and then hand stir in the fragrance and the salt. Because salt soaps can move a little bit quick, I've not worked with this fragrance before, there's some variables, and I definitely wanna be able to pour it into the molds. So just a very light emulsion, and now I'm gonna hand stir in the fragrance. And with this volume, you add up the oils and the lye, and uh, 5% fragrance oil, I'm using this entire bottle, which is four ounces of fragrance oil. Um, so that's what I'm doing with this. Look up your fragrance oil and see the usage rate on it and make sure you're within the usage rate range on whatever fragrance you're choosing to use. But for this one, the 5% worked well. So I used the whole four ounce bottle in this batch of soap. I did not include the salt in that volume, but I did include the oils and the lye. So here we go. I've got emulsion, the fragrance is stirred in. We're gonna get the salt, just blend it in there so that I have plenty of time. And what you'll see is this does thicken up, not quickly, but you know, you wanna move. You wanna go ahead and get these poured without dawdling around too much. And even though it seemed very thick, it was still very workable. And you'll see when we get to it, I start pouring in the molds and it's very liquidy. And when it starts to thicken up, what you can do is kind of um, bop the molds. You'll see when I get to the heart molds uh, and the uh, soap batter will level out within the mold. So let's get these lined up, get to pouring, all the good stuff. Let me tell you, it smelled good in the studio when I was pouring these, <laughs> so good.
so as I'm coming into my little heart molds here, you can see it's getting thicker, but this is still a very workable consistency. So I'm just getting them down in the mold and then watch what I'm gonna do. You sort of bop the mold and see how it levels out? It's gonna get in that beautiful little heart mold crevice that it has. So workable means that it's still pliable. It's not completely stiff. All right, it's the next day and I don't have to do voiceover now because my construction crew upstairs is not in the house. So I have my bathroom done and there was too much noise yesterday. So I voiced over that portion of the video. <laughs> But let's get these out of the mold. These were perfectly hard last night, but I was busy. And so we're gonna get them out of the mold today. If I had unmolded them last night, I would have had gloves on with salt soap. If you unmold early and it's still doing its saponifying thing, you need to wear your gloves. But today it's 24 hours later, so we're good to go. And I'm really anxious to get these out of here. They smell really nice. Oh, so cute. And I am curious to see uh, how much these will discolor or if they change color at all, but I think they're so pretty. So what I'm gonna do is put these, line these all up on a tray here. So when I come in with my drizzling melt and pour, this will be a little easier to clean up than my tabletop. But in the meantime, let me show you real quick, because salt soaps do get hard so fast, um, I have my shavings bucket. Let me scoot these over off to the side and I'm just going to take my vegetable peeler and just real quick knock down any sharp edges because I don't like sharp edges on my soap. So just knock those off real quick, dust it off, and now it's got a nice smooth edge that's not going to feel uncomfortable in your hand. So cute. So I'm going to do that with all these. Let's get them out of the mold and then we'll come back to do a little drizzle frosting. are all unmolded and trimmed up and everything is ready to go and I think these are so adorable. I cannot wait to do my drizzle on here. So again, I know I showed a brief glimpse of this. I'm using, I got this as Wholesale Supplies Plus. This is a two pound block of, sorry, this is just the lid. There we go. Melt and pour soap. Um, you can use clear. I'm using the white opaque because I'm going to be coloring it. Um, so this one is the baby buttermilk. There's all kinds of different options. I mean, just get the one you like best or don't get one at all, but this is what I'm using today. <laughs> so I'm going to melt up two little cups of melt and pour, not a lot. And let me show you again the colors. So from Rustic Essentials, I'm using lemon sherbet mica here and look how pretty that is. I thought it went with this color really well. So we will do a little drizzle in there and then also my white champagne. So it's just a creamy white color. Um, and of course the melt and pour base is white also. This will just give a little sparkle to it. And I'm gonna use my pipettes and just drizzle on half. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing cause these have really pretty patterns that I don't wanna cover. So I'll just cut, probably drizzle half of each of these just to kick it up a notch and make them look really beautiful. So let me go get my melt and pour melted.
all drizzled up and while it's still warm, I'm just gonna put a tiniest little bit of this eco glitter on the um, little drizzle part just to make it shimmer and shine. So just a little. Here they are. Aren't those just happy little salt bars? I'm loving them. So these are gonna go up on the curing rack for four to six weeks. I thank you so much for watching me today. And if you have never tried salt soap, I challenge you to give it a try. It is such a wonderful bar to use. The lather feels soft and luxurious and they don't dry your skin. I covered that in other salt soap videos, but the recipe is down below. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.